I should really update these titles at some point, the little stream is starting rotating, because you can tell that I just made this like very simple border with a Gaussian blur, and I've just got text and it just rotates with a pretty normal like sine wave. You know what's not a sine wave? Three, two, one! It's linear. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream, it is the B&A stream today on this fine 8th of July 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. My week has been very uh somber and stressful in terms of uh the uncertainty of the future and i feel like there's probably days or weeks or even months like that for everyone out there is going to experience something like that at some point and uh i mean the best advice i can say is put your head high stick with your your gut stick with your your instincts and your your, your characteristics yourself don't feel like you just gotta like absolutely gut yourself just because stuff is going up against you. You know what I mean? And if you don't, maybe you will eventually. And if you do, then cool. I don't know. I'll, I'll go with that. Uh, let's jump right into today's and possibly next week's game. I don't know how long this will take. We'll see how long it goes. Four. Uh, here we go. Whoop. Check it out. This game is pretty hard to find. It is indeed a rare where it's not, I don't know how hard it is to find. How expensive are copies of this game? Who knows? Because I don't look up retro game prices that much. Um, Donkey Kong Country is this game. Uh, and uh, Donkey Kong Country holds a oddly special place in my heart because I... Well, I mean, I mean way back when... Here's actually, actually, here's a fun timeline. So, I originally played the game in 2008, on, in Let's Play 4. I, like, I don't know why specifically I chose Donkey Kong Country, because I had never played it before, and I played it so shoddily on an emulator that it's like, oh, it's, it's like, oh, look at this guy, he's got the frame rate counter, he's got, he's using Z, uh, or like, yeah, he's using Z snares, it's so old. Um, but yeah, no, I think I chose it for a win because I saw, oh, platformers, they were fun, they were, like, had a lot of good vibes about them. Very chill, uh, maybe I looked up a list of, like, great games to let's play. I love staying on this title screen, by the way, because the second time around you get this really cool, whoa, rolling kind of tube effect. And it does, like, a page turn effect as well. It's still all vertical, but, yeah. Or maybe it is still the rolling one, just, like, applied slightly differently. And the flip, the flip is great. I don't know what's up with that, it's, it's just kind of neat and cool. Um, but yeah, no, I, I had only played this game, really, in 2008. I then replayed it in uh, 2018, just casually, just as a fun one, just to be like, hey, let's go back to this game and really try and understand what it was. And uh, then eventually I sort of had the idea, let's just get back into streaming, let's or let's do streaming to get by, back into the Let's Play game. And uh, in turn, I'd sort of held off on playing this one because I had already proven to myself that I could have beaten it. But I really wanted to share the experience of this game with everyone again. <laughs> one more time. Donkey Kong Country is a really cool game. Uh, partially, it does stem from... Stem from? It's got a lot of strengths that, you know, you could probably spot in games older than it. But I think there's something absolutely, you know, beautiful about this art style. This freaking, like, you know, silicon graphics pre-rendered sprites all over the place um, and really having this artistic style of you know it, it doesn't feel like blocks and sprites it feels like actual things in the world which is a trend that a lot of later games eventually you know generally would try and pull off um, you start off the game wonderful you know atmosphere and climate that's what Donkey Kong Country is great for you can actually go back into your house where uh, you'll spot, there's a balloon in here. The balloons are your lives. Try and find balloons, you'll get lives. Um, there's, there's a fair bit of world building and other, other kinds of things going on there. Also, he smashes out of his house again. You can also check out uh, this little hole under here. He's very sad. And this basically sets up the plot. Someone's stolen your bananas. Go get him. Go get him. Uh, and away you go, the game starts, and you try to understand, okay, what's going on? Just like Mario, which is another, you know, big popular uh, 2D platformer uh, that Nintendo does publish, uh, you can run by holding down uh, the Y button, and you can jump by pressing B. Um, unlike Mario, though, you've got this roll, which actually can take out enemies as well. Um, 
And uh, also, as you saw, I broke open this DK barrel, and a little extra guy with a hat and a shirt came out behind me. That's Diddy Kong. And uh, I feel like I, you don't have to explain what Donkey Kong Country and what a platformer is. I feel like a lot of people have a good idea of what that is. Um, but it's a very, like, oop, it's a very raw platformer. There's a lot of things going on as well in this, in this game as well. Uh, you got this rhino, you can just take it. This, people know so much more about Donkey Kong Country than I do. I'm not very well experienced in talking about it. But what I can say is my experience of what exactly does this game mean to me in terms of a... Uh, I've played it a couple of times. Also try to collect those Kong letters and you get an extra life. There's not really any hard incentive to... Um, how, how would I say? I know there's an extra secret in there, because I, I tried it this morning. Um, oh, and I suck at it as well. Um, dang it. Angry. Uh, but what does Donkey Kong Country mean to me? It sort of marks the pretty much the latest of the time period that I was not playing games. Uh, I feel like I started playing games right as 3D started to be a thing, and at that point, uh, 3D games sort of took over. It was wildfire. It was like, pretty much, if your game wasn't 3D, I wasn't having any of that. I didn't want to deal with it. Ew, it's not 3D, what the heck? And I was smart enough, I looked at this and I said, not 3D. But there were also some games where it's like, I knew they were not 3D and I still kind of played them and I enjoyed them a ton. Um, Pokemon and actually a lot of handheld games were like that. Um, you can also uh, press the A button, by the way, and switch your Kongs. Although a lot of people do prefer Diddy Kong just because he is faster. And both Kongs take one hit, so it's not really like Donkey Kong is, you know, heavier. Although, actually, there are some enemies where they do not take damage when you jump on them as Diddy Kong, but they do take damage from Donkey Kong. That's your catch. That's your catch between the two, um, the two Kongs. Uh, but yeah. There's not a hard reward for collecting all the Kong letters, but if you're ever playing the Retro Achievements set, they do go, hey, you know, see if you can do it. There's also an achievement for beating the whole game, like all the levels, in 70 minutes total, which, uh, listen, I'd be shocked if I managed to do that, but there's a part of me that's actually wondering, can I just beat the whole game in one sitting? We'll see. Uh, your main incentive, if you wanted to hit the actual 100% in the game, and I'm not, I don't believe I'm doing a great job of this, um, is that, uh, every level has, ooh, not every level, but a lot of levels have little secrets and extra kinds of goodies and doodads. Um, the key, uh, indicator is, uh, notice that, hold on, if I go back, Notice how there's an exclamation mark at the end of this level name. The exclamation mark only appears after you've beaten the level and you've gone into every bonus room. You don't exactly have to succeed at every bonus room, but if you've done that, every single bonus room uh, corresponds to a 1% increase of the the bonus score. I'm pretty sure there's like, oh, does it? Maybe it rounds a bit in, in a weird way, so... Hey boy, did you... I didn't read that. Games never looked like this when I was a lad. In jungle hijinks, stick to the treetops to earn extra lives. Steel ringed barrels break only when they hit it. And he basically tells you a bunch of tips. Thanks, Cranky. I like this world building of uh, <laughs> Cranky being basically the Donkey Kong from uh, the original game. And this is, uh, well, this is actually Donkey Kong Jr. that you're playing as. A, well, not Diddy Kong, but... Um... That being said, though, me not really, you know, me not playing 3D games. Granted, I didn't own a SNES. I, that was a bit before my time. I'm a bit too young to have had the SNES be around. I think right when I was, like, starting to go, hey, yeah, I want to play video games, uh, the Dreamcast was new, and the Dreamcast was still a thing. So every time I, like, talk to mates, they're like, oh, duh, I, uh, I, didn't, I don't know about the Dreamcast because most of my mates are about my age or younger. Um, so it's just like, oh, okay. Um, and that's, that's fine and fair. Uh, I do know that Donkey Kong Country did have a Game Boy Color port, which, uh, tries, I think. I've not played it, but I think, uh, most people will say it tries. You got checkpoint barrels and little bonus areas. There's something very fluid about how this game works, just, you know... There's a, there's, a, there's a big kind of issue with newer games where it's like they don't... Oh, hold on, I got a sneeze coming. Ah. 
Yeah, here it comes. Oh, oh. There it is. All right. There's a big problem with newer games and oh, ooh. <laughs> there's a big problem with newer games about not having um like 60 FPS as a feature. A lot of them are either like, and this isn't even like. Actually, did this output interlace? This may have output it interlace. I don't think it was. Ooh. Actually, it could be progressive. The resolution is low enough. It could be progressive back in the day. Yeah, some of these levels are kind of short. There's, there's 40 levels in the game, that is including boss levels, but uh, there's a good amount of variety. We've got like two jungle levels right off the bat that did have the same music, but you know, one was wet and one was dry. And we're in a cave, and now we're swimming. Because of course, this is the natural flow of things. This underwater music is the stuff of dreams as well. There's something so serene about like even the, the little kind of warping of the of the textures and the scenery. How incredibly blue and parallax the background is. There's a real good vibe that uh, this game brings and delivers. And I don't think that really other SNES games particularly match too much. Maybe, maybe a lot of people have a lot more understanding of the SNES. Um, for me, I, I get... Oh, 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 oh. I believe this uh, swordfish is called uh, On Guard. That's his name. Oh, hey, we got him. We got him. I'm not 100% stuffed. Uh, I'm going to try my best to not die. Um, but yeah, what was... Uh, what exactly was the intention to play this game the very, very first time back in 2008? July uh, 17th? I think it was July 17th. So it's next... Uh, what would that be? 13 days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday. Uh, that would mark the 16 year mark of when I first played this. Um, it was not the very first game I played on the channel, that would have been Cruising USA, but uh, certainly, uh, you know, I've got very different memories, but mostly because I don't remember a thing about what I originally felt when I played it. All I know was I didn't really play it legit. Two swordfish? Whoa! Um, and a part of me wants to like really prove that I can actually like beat it. Although I know I've done it before, I know I can do it to myself. I don't need to, you know, play it on stream to prove that. But I don't know. I think there's something also about just like, hey, you know, like this. This is one of the last games that I haven't played on the channel uh, in the stream format. And it's like, what is what is me as an adult? What do I think about this game? And there's something very just kind of pristine and delicious about how it all comes together. It's just a fun variety, there's a fun just bit of, you know, enemies do whatever. And it's not an unfair game. Yet. We'll see. I... I do know, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, which wasn't out, but I love that. It wasn't even out when I played this one. Um... That one kicks my butt. Trying to get all the, the goodies and extras definitely kicks my butt. Whoa, dudes, my name's Funky Kong! My bodacious jumbo barrel can launch you to any point on any island. Most unfortunately, it can only send you to a place you've already been to, which is a complete and total bummer. Let me tell you. Well, do oh, hi, okay. So basically, that lets you change worlds. Um, and the worlds consist of a couple of screens. Uh, but uh, yeah, for for the be very beginning, it's like, well, you don't really need to. Have that chill in there. Uh, I believe, kind of interestingly, you have to clear off pretty much almost every level in the world before the game lets you save. Uh, I, I don't actually, ooh. Nice. Actually, I think in, in theory, you can go to a Funky Kong barrel and go back a world. And in theory, I guess you could save there. Hold on, I want to see if I can use them to bounce up there, because I know you can kind of skip the whole level at that point. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh. I'm showing, I'm showing my age, I'm showing how much I, I suck. But hey, here's the thing, I'm committing. Oops. I'm committing, we're not, we're not using emulator stuff, we're doing this legit-ish. I mean, I know I'm still using an emulator, but still. Yeah, this basically skips like this whole section of the level. 
It's a nice little fun secret. And I actually kind of like how a lot of the secrets in the game are, um, just like, they're just barely off screen. It's like, you can sort of spot it and you could be like, ooh. I hit the O letter over there as well. A lot juicy so far, but, um, but yeah, to me as a kid, I didn't really understand, uh, how games worked back in the day. They sort of were like, you know, like witchcraft in the sense of like, ah, oh, there's a game. Just pop it in and play it. Um, but there's something kind of like crafty about how games work and how they were designed. A lot of older games were designed around grid space. Oh, oops. You can sort of recover. I appreciate that. Um, but a lot of games were based around grids and to some degree, you know, it still is here. It's not like they don't use integers anymore. Oh. It's not like they don't use integers anymore and games aren't on grids, but I think there's something kind of cool about how a lot of the sprite work in this game really, like, feels a lot more dynamic. Like, you know, this ground is technically flat, but the sprite is so, you know, so kind of, uh, creative in that. Also, you can clearly see, uh, parts like mirrored and things like that if you're really looking out for it. I don't know if there's like a little secret wall anywhere here. I don't know. Because in the first level there was. And then you get paranoid and you think every level is like that, but... Oh well. Uh, bananas are pretty generous. And I actually kind of like how you can go back into old levels. Cough, cough, Mario World. You can't go back into castles after you've destroyed them in Mario World unless you hold down L and R for some reason. Oh. Two times in a row. I think that was the exact same barrel. We'll get there. It's only level five. I can, I can keep making progress. Um, but yeah, this isn't gonna be a, a like an actual like hundred and one percent. I believe that's when you get every single secret. Just because I don't really know all the secrets, I feel like I, it's a bit disingenuous for me to just be like looking up a guide, just to be like, hey, here's all the secrets. Um, mostly as well because the secrets are generally there just to give you extra bananas and maybe a maybe a little little mini game here and there. I will definitely try to find the ones that I definitely know of, but... There you go, first try. First try. This is a fun change of pace level though, isn't it? <laughs> Don't just roll right past it. And there we go. Uh, yes, you did see a little bit behind the sprite there. <laughs> Pay no attention to behind the sprite. And then here we go, there's an actual save point, four levels in. Hi, I'm Candy Kong and this is my save point. Mwah. If you want to save your current game, jump into my spinning save barrel. Well, there you go, 8%. Can I beat the game in 70 minutes? Uh, probably not at this rate. Very Gnaughty's Lair. I don't know if it's a Gnaughty. But here's a boss battle, the six worlds. Uh, the bosses are generally pretty straightforward. Also, <laughs> part of me is, uh, I played Donkey Kong Country 2, but I haven't played the third one. He does jump a bit faster each time. Oh. <laughs> oh, banana. Very big banana, so. And on to the next world. The Monkey Mines. Winky's Walkway. Winky is like such a strange word here and well, I was gonna say here in Australia, I feel like it's also a an England kinda like, ooh, that's an interesting word. Alright, real talk, this light is absolutely cool, because I love how it actually does, you know, recolor the sprites underneath it a little bit. It doesn't recolor the fence, though. But a good amount of alpha definitely helps. I don't know, that's kind of cool. I remember really having no idea how this frog was, like, bouncing. Like, it, I, it felt weird to me when I was a kid. Now I'm playing this gone. Kid me was an idiot. Because I'm like, this thing just moves. It's not like a frog. Frog Mario. It's not like that. Oop. Up we go. I got the end. There we go. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I have a... An, uh, is it a... <sighs> sailed. Like, sunk like a rock. Um, I have a, a, a story to tell. Uh, it's not a very particularly, 
uh, incredible story, but it's definitely a story. We can go up here again just to get more bananas, except I don't have a frog, so... I assume uh, Diddy can't do anything too fancy, because he jumps the same, so... Um... Uh, but yeah, the story was, uh, uh, probably, uh, this time last week, I was like, oh, I got a, a QNAP TLD1600S, not a TLDR, a TLD1600S. Uh, this is a rather fancy, uh, direct attached storage enclosure, uh, that can hold 16 drives and you connect it via this add-in card that, uh, that you get. Um, I had, uh, originally gone there and then went, like, so, ooh, my gods. Very, very nice. I love these levels. Although I believe they get stressful later on, so... Again, there's something just kind of fun about, like, an on-rail section that's, like, literally on rails. Why are there minecarts in Donkey Kong Land? Who knows? In the same way as there's, like, construction girders everywhere. Uh, for reference as well, someone might ask, I'm playing the, uh, the V1.2 version of the game, there's, a uh, various, uh, releases of the game, uh, and, uh, from what I can tell, the later releases just generally bug fix, uh, which may, oh, dang it, um, which may make the game a little easier or harder for me, we'll see. Um. Oh. I do like how, uh, that, the background song had the, uh, the theme song in it. Just very downplayed, but still, very nice. I feel like Rareware definitely, like, set themselves out as, uh, you know, rather talented game developers around the time of this game, but certainly, you know, like, Snake Rattle and Roll is a great title. I think a lot of people sort of sleep on them. But no, they've always made, like, great stuff. They made nuts and bolts. Do people? <laughs> I've not played nuts and bolts, so I. Don't, oh come on! Was my hitbox not in that end? I swear. Um, real talk, though, I haven't actually played too many other railway games, but I have played their entire Nintendo. Oh, have I? No, because I haven't played Jet Force Gemini. I've played a lot of their Nintendo 64 catalog because I played GoldenEye, I played Conkers, I played Donkey Kong 64, I played uh, both Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. Uh, did I say Perfect Dark already? I'll say Perfect Dark. But I haven't played Jet Force Gemini, so someone will grill me that. That's a lot of Nintendo 64 games to come out of the studio, and for all of them to be very noteworthy as well. <laughs> you thought it was almost done. I do appreciate that uh, these levels that are generally on rails or the underwater levels, it's like, well, there aren't any secrets in them. Come on, my man. I believe you gotta roll this. This, I remember that, like, just threw me for a loop when I was, you know, doing the original Let's Play. I was like, what on earth is going on here? And to be fair, I still don't know why you'd have this there. <laughs> why you gotta roll the, roll the tire? Who knows? I'd appreciate that. There we go. I was like, where's the Donkey Kong barrel? Um, so I got this enclosure. Uh, the main point of this enclosure was I currently have a, a, a NAS system, uh, that's, uh, all self-set up. I'm just running true NAS inside a Proxmox as well. Um, Proxmox is great. I love it. And, uh, so I wanted to expand my storage and have some solution that's, like, oh, it's all, like, powered and... Can I roll this up here? Oh, I can. There you go. Look at that, they thought of it. Oh, everyone likes a good moving platform. You code down. Very nice, very nice. Um, now I know that there's a lot of solutions for this. Uh, a classic solution is you can just get a, um, 
uh, HBA and card from LSI, well not even from LSI but from like just people reselling their old LSI cards because they made a ton of them and they're very very reliable. I thought I saw like an object like right there. Okay. Well, I have a frog now. Hold on, if I hold left there... Where's my frog? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? I thought I saw something right there. I'm holding left, he doesn't want to go there. Maybe it's just the high ground that was there. It's probably another secret somewhere else. In this level. Whoop. There you go. Um, but yeah, uh, the, uh, you can do that, uh, you still have to deal with power. And power is the, uh, the interesting question of how do we make this work with power? Um, so I thought, let's get this enclosure because it should be, like, pretty straightforward, right? Uh, well, the, the, I mean, the TLDR is, uh, no, for two reasons. Uh, one was manufacturing defect, so yay. Uh, and the other was drivers. Uh, which is not really the fault of, uh, what well, is the fault of the, the, the manufacturer? Oh, my tire, where'd it go? Because you can smell that's, like, you know, a secret area a mile away. Push, push it on, bounce up, there you go, there you go. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, uh, powering is interesting. So I went with this as basically like, hey, it's a nice little solution. Um, but yeah, the drivers, the drivers didn't really work as I wanted them to. So the, the, the easy, like, also I love this mechanic right here, the freaking like the lights changing color. You have to get past them quickly. It's great. Also, the little sound all these things make, where they're just kind of like, like, the, like a hard, like, teeth snap sound, but it's just like, it's just like, literally, all you have to do is just like, um, if, you, if you're making, what is it, Ma making a waveform, literally just go from like, zero to one, in like, one fell swoop, and that's how you make like, a freaking like, teeth chattering like, sound. I'm just running through this level, apparently. This, this, that, that letter teaches me a very, very hard fought, like, um, not hard fought, but, uh, you know what I mean, of, like, tough love kind of learning there. Because, uh, if you roll off a ledge, you can jump if you haven't jumped already, if you know what I mean. Like, here I am, I'm jumping, I'm just going, holding forward, just jumping, you know, that's all good. But if I rolled off a ledge, I could do a jump later. And it would let me do that like this. And that's like such a hard fought, like learned behavior. Uh, these guys are killer. I don't know if you could jump on them. Well, you can jump on those dudes, but. Uh, so, yeah, so the drivers were iffy. Um, pretty much, I couldn't get them working on. Linux at all, and it advertised that you could get them working on Linux. I could get it working on Windows, and uh, it worked fine on Windows. It actually was like, yeah, I'm going to appear as a bunch of drives. That's the name of the product, and that's fair. That's what it does. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Hey, check it out. We've got a save point. A savvy point. Well, you guys really came a long way. Save the game now when you have a chance. Mwah. Jump it in. 14%. Whoa. 
Also there's a funky flight over here. I guess you can say hi to him. Whoa, dudes, my name's Funky Kong. Whoa. Oh, thank you, my man. Do we need to visit him every time? Probably not. It's probably not important. Millstone Mayhem. Now, I love the levels that look like this, and that's a secret now. I'm just like, oh, that's such a cheeky boy to figure out. Also, it's a cheeky boy if you want to get the goods. And they just... Hi. Hi, how you doing? And they're gone. They're gone forever. And so is the barrel. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, these things also gave me like terrors. Oh, <laughs> okay. Is that the safety net? It's like, oh, if you if you accidentally <laughs> didn't jump over the pit, there you go. There's your safety net. Because you can do it. This actually kind of like, if you've got a a, a a TV that like has. Am I meant to like have something that like jumps into that? I don't know. Well, I am indeed rare. Swordfish! Collecting three of a uh, animal token gives you a mini game where you basically try to get uh, all the things in this area, aka you're playing Pac Man. I know there's a retro achievement for actually collecting every single one of these as well, so... Um... But yeah, drivers just were not like me on that thing. Um... Problem number two! Drive number one was DOA. Uh... I could, uh, I could plug in a drive, but I couldn't, um... You know, I couldn't get drive one working. And not like the specific drive that I bought, but just like if I put any single drive in that slot, it would, uh... Power, I could see it, well, not, I could I could feel it was hot and, you know, you can hear it, but no, no detection, even, you know, afterwards, even when, like, oh, it detects in the BIOS. I don't suppose you could get all of these, I assume maybe the achievement was for 300. Still, lots of lives. And the more lives, the merrier. You know, probably me as a kid, oops. Me as a dumb, dumb let's playing kid, I get criticized the heck out of like how I used to play games. Well, like, I was a dumb kid, I didn't know anything. Um, which is in the right path this time. I had the K. Why would you want the DK barrel when you immediately land on the DK barrel? There you go, that's what I was thinking would have existed. There is the O. We can do the O. Let's keep it going. There we go. Proper way. Now I can do this minigame for realsies. There we go. Uh, but yeah. Uh, a, dr a drive enclosure that's missing the drive bay, like a drive bay doesn't work. I'm like, that's... That's significant enough that it's kind of defective. The lack of Linux drivers is a real pet peeve. Uh, I'm glad the store, I don't know if the store would have accepted my re refund request if it was just, yeah, Linux drivers don't work at all. Um, and the kind of annoying part as well is that on the store page, they're like, there's a new, ver all models made after, um, February 2022 have a different add-in card. And the different add-in card, a lot of people say, you don't even need drivers, it actually works out of the box, like it's, it's a so much better card that they use. But the old one, no hope. Uh, and unfortunately for me, the old one is not even any hope with the drivers. I was thinking a part of me was like, is it just because, you know, TrueNAS? Because um, sometimes you see people say, oh, TrueNAS is incompatible. Uh, they're talking about TrueNAS Core, which uses uh, FreeBSD. I'm using TrueNAS Scale. This is uh, Debian. It should have at least, you know, generally better... Oh, oh. And the frog is gone. Goodbye, frog. I hope I won't need him for an E. For an G. Whoops. Don't you love that? I, like, landed on him. And it... Oh, oh. Yeah, 
That's that's cheeky, man. That's cheeky. This whole game's cheeky, you know, when you think about it. Whoop. But yeah, there's probably a part of me where I'm like, I like retried this game, you know, use emulator save states and rewinds just constantly. And I'm like, I could do so much better, man. I could really do so much better. It's cranky. Sure looks like I'm Mr. Popular today, yes siree. The crafty croc to puss corners his croc of collectibles in coral capers. I can read the manual that you, the manual that you can jump further. Hold down the run button. Thank you, my man. Well, on to Neki's nuts. Neki's nuts. Everyone's favorite boss. There he is. He's Neki. So I think all you gotta do is get him. And jump on him. <laughs> He's gonna shoot Neki's nuts at you. It goes a bit quicker each time, but that's again, it's fairly straightforward. Other than that one, that one hit. Oh, banana! And that's world two done. We're making good pace to the Vine Valley, where you can only watch seven-second videos. Uh, I believe every level. Oh. Sometimes worlds have six levels. Whoa. <laughs> I'm glad they, uh, tell you about, you know. That's what, that's what shooting vultures does, apparently. He's hoarding, he's hoarding the wheel. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure, okay. Um... So, yeah, so, anyway, the enclosure, long story short, the enclosure is going back to the store where I will reconsider my options. That particular one, it's like, well, in theory, I could maybe get another one that has a newer add-in card, and it probably will work. And also if the drive worked. Uh, sorry, if the, if the enclosure, if the bay worked. Um, in theory, that would do what I needed it to do, but... It's a fair bit of work to set up, and I'm just like, man, that's, that's a lot of effort for, you know, having to try that it all works again. I mean, I guess I could probably look at the model number of the, the Adam card. Oops. That was a rookie error right there. Um, yeah, I could probably look at the the model number of the Adam card, but, uh, you know, it's a fair bit of work, so. Uh, we're going to have to start from, well, figure out a, a different solution. Uh, the main reason why I went with that was, uh, you know, I, I've only got so much space inside the case that I'm using, and I'm still using a, a mid-tower ATX case as opposed to, you know, like an actual server rack where it's like, oh, you know, it's actually trivial to add more storage because you're basically adding more units. Well, it's not trivial because it's still kind of the same, like, setup in the end, where it's like, hey, there you go. Cool, I got, what, one, one banana bunch out of that? Nice. Very nice. There we go. Oops. Yeah, no, the music in this game is a jam. The whole game is a jam. It's just like a chill vibe. Fun game to platform over. And there's nothing so far that feels cheap. It's definitely like, oh, you know, sometimes you die a bit quick, but you got plenty of lives. You can make this work. There you go, because I was like, if I jump from high, I can do that. Now the question is, what do you do with the barrel? Dude, there you go. <laughs> I was like, that... I saw, I saw the mark on the ground, I was like, I knew it had to be for something. Thank you, ever-increasingly speedy barrels. Oh. There we go. 
There you go. Very, very nice. Uh, so, and I really wanted to just increase the pool size that I have for, uh, for True Ness. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I guess, really what I should be seeking is, uh, maybe an actual kind of bay enclosure. I don't have a server. I don't really want to, like, start getting into that, most, mostly because I don't have space. I don't have, like, particularly a lot of, you know, I, 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 hold on, wait, wait. There you go, it's like, ooh. Failure. I swear I, I swear I jumped a bit sooner on that, but oh well. Um, but oh well. We'll figure something out. We'll get there. Alright, so what happened here? I... Maybe I just pressed the button way too soon. Maybe that was what it was. I was trying to avoid the barrel just then, so... Alright, let's just try for an extra life. Worst case, I guess, if you're bleeding lives, you just go back to an old level as well. Okay, that one. That one was a actual, I jumped way too late. Very angry. Very angry. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll figure something out. I'm making my poor 9700k work though, I tell ya. That add-in card, there was a fair bit of a headache of basically like trying to figure out about IO MMU groups and all that stuff, uh, which I, I think I spoke about last week on stream. If I didn't then... Okay, well there you go. <laughs> trying to deal with the IO MMU groups is a bit tricky because it's like the, the two CPU wired slots showed up as the same group and I had the networking mapped to that uh, first uh, slot. So uh, when I passed, you know, the add-in card, the HBA card, into the, uh, the virtual machine, and then it's like, oh, and the networking died. But I didn't know that the networking died, I just... Yeah, I was like, what a cheeky banana there. I was like, no way. Oh. Alas. That's okay. Oh, but you get a second attempt, apparently. Whoa. I don't get a second attempt. Maybe this is why I'm like, oh, burn all the lives, because I apparently do suck at Donkey Kong. <laughs> hey, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's not about whether you suck. That's the important thing with, like, any kind of older game. And this is actually one thing as well that, like, makes me cautious about... about SNES games, is... And, or even games that are older, I do hate having to replay sections because I suck. And I know that's kind of like, what do you mean? That's like, you know, how any game is difficult. They need to make you, you know, work for your, work for your, your you know, your win. And also you play hard games, don't you? I'm like, yeah, yeah I guess I do. Have another crack at this, I guess. <laughs> I was like, I was getting kind of lucky there, so... Um, two times in a row. Two times in a row. Uh, but yeah, there's a part of me where it's like, yeah, if I game over, you know, I gotta do the whole world again, which um, I guess isn't like too much right now. But it's definitely like, you know, as I get like more and more levels in, it's like, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of terrifying. Oh. Okay, when I said like, ah, oh, this game's not cheap at all. It's not. But I am feeling that I suck. So, <laughs> my inexperience. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Let's not like highlight that I suck. And instead, we get through it. We'll be like, yeah, I beat the game. Because I've done it. I've done it already. And not like, you know, on emulator. It's like, no, I've actually done it. 
can do it. We can do it. I really gotta stop, like... There you go. Oh. 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 Uh. Oh, yeah, I was like... I was like, Where, which way are they gonna go about it? Okay, here we go. Jump into the barrel. As if... They're not using barrels. I want the G. There you go. <laughs> I need my lives. That's just cheeky having the, the, you know, the ostrich token there, I tell ya. Well, there's a Funky's Flights if I feel like I'm, I'm terrified. Hey, you know what? Maybe we will. Maybe we will just for a hot second. Now we can, now we can enjoy the joys of the very first level again. You know what I mean? Just soak it in, grab some lives, you know, the good stuff. There's like so many lives as well, like... Oh, wait, do they float away? Alright, already. They all float on. Don't you worry. Ah, there's your example, by the way. Whereas Donkey Kong just jumps. There you go. But enough talking about, a ter ugh, about um, you know, computer hardware that doesn't work. Let's uh, talk about uh, some fun uh, computer hardware that uh, may work, and that's um, nothing really, because there's not really a ton going on in the world. Actually, is there? Maybe. I know that there's the, uh, the Zen 9000s coming out in a few weeks, but... They're just sort of like, I don't know, they were just kind of name dropped. I don't think AMD particularly is uh, providing a lot of like, hard interest towards it. I feel like they're like, oh, all the AI chips are where things are at. And to me as an end user, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, do things even use the AI chips? So now we can fly all the way back and there we go. Actually, even better. It's like, I love how it's like, hey, you could hit a save point. To which I just didn't. And we'll just keep going. Look at these ropes. Out in the middle of nowhere. Oh. That's just a rookie error. That is a real rookie error for me. I apologize so profusely on that one. Yeah. I don't think there's really anything like tons exciting because it's kind of like, you know, it's a it's another hardware release and it's also a hardware release that looks very iterative. Oh, that's just a cheeky K. We'll take it. We'll take another crack at it. Oh, I'm jumping too soon, but I'm I'm very worried. I'm gonna absolutely. Yeah, I was like, I'm very worried I'm gonna just miss. <laughs> there we go. Um, I guess that's always the thing with like really anything new is like, you know, how excited can you actually be? Uh, for example, uh, Two weeks ago, when I spoke about that Nintendo Direct, there's a lot of bees, by the way, a lot of bees. Um, when I spoke about that Nintendo Direct, and I'm just like, yeah, you know, like I'm kind of interested in some of these. And Metro Prime's my favorite game of all time. And I look at Metro Prime 4, and I go, it's it's indeed a game. I'm glad the very first bee was moving up, it gave me the rookie error right off the bat. Touching the ground is for wimps. And I am a chimp. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> I 
They don't give you as many bananas as they did at the very beginning of the game, don't they? Wah! Darn, I, I do wonder whether there's a secret in the wall. But, yeah, we'll figure it out later, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Happy days on that level, though. This tempest must be empest. I don't know if that's that's not the lyrics at all, but do I love these like little gerbils, little beavers? Look, it's the same mechanic again. Uh, I remember this one. This is the uh, run away from the wheel. The wheel shall consume all, and then get stuck on like slopes. I think. Yeah. These robes are cool. This whole game is like fun aesthetically because there's a lot of like, oh, that's the one thing I do hate. Like when you take the hit and then it's like, yeah. Um, I feel like I, 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 a lot of people mention this, but it, again, it's like, there's a lot of actual real, like, you know, limits with the SNES. There's only so much you can pull off and a lot of games also, you know, sort of realized that and went, hey, I'm gonna, you know, put chips inside the, the cartridge to try and leverage, you know, some... Thank you, Arrow. Um... Oh, he's going fast. He's gone. He's going. He's going. He's going fast. Woo! Well, <laughs> oh, time for rhino time. It's rhino time. This one's just fun because there's a bajillion tokens. But on the flip side, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like it's healthy to be like completely jaded about every single thing in the world. That Oh, that time it does go down a lot quicker though, I tell ya. We got 422, that's good. There we go, very nice stuff. Oh, is that a... Ah, I thought that was like a little lip there. I also appreciate that uh, virtually every single one of these secrets does not miss a Kong letter. Like you're sort of able to like recover yourself and go like, ah, there's the letter. It's very nice. I mean, this game's so good, they made three of them. Or five of them, depending on how you look. Maybe Rare didn't make the other ones, but... That's so strange that it's like, Nintendo knows that like, especially Tropical Freeze is like, really critically acclaimed, and yet it's just like... Whoa. This is a bit of a terror scenario right here. Oh, it's the end of the level, even better. Um... But uh... Like, they know that that game is like, so well received, and it was relegated to the Wii U for so long. 26%, but we're at 41 minutes, so... It's 41 minutes, that doesn't sound right. Orang Yutan Gang. Everyone likes a good... Take that, B. Hate bees. Dude, I love these vines. I love the, like, you know, the, the sun setting. There's lots of just cool effects in so many levels. Well, that was an interesting way of going about it, wasn't it? Who is the Orangutan Gang? That's me, isn't it? There's a part of me that hated Diddy Kong so much. I feel like it's maybe like Smash vibes. Heck yeah, espresso time. It's kind of fun jumping on the trees thinking that, not, they're not in the background, but it's just like, they're in the back. Oh, those are the orangutan gangs now. There we 
go. What is this donkey go? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no. Pain. Absolute pain. Is that back at the beginning of the level? No, we hit a checkpoint somewhere. Oh, I jumped it and kick in. Ah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's healthy to be jaded about everything, but also, it is healthy to be, uh, you know, cautious of spending your hard-earned monies on something that isn't really worthwhile. You always gotta be careful about that. Ah! Sorry, I gotta do the high pitch. <laughs> there you go. Past that point. What, what, uh, let's see if we can get the... And there we go. Oh, I didn't even get the O. It's a bit for moot at that point. <laughs> These are some very angry looking monkeys. I'll tell you. Whoa. 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 He's going speedy on that one. There's something interesting going on up there, but... But how and why? Who knows? Oh well. Oh, it's got a fun low road. Or is it really a low road? Who knows? I guess we're out of this level. <laughs> See ya, Cranky, I don't need any tips. We're good. <laughs> Clam City, isn't that where SpongeBob got kidnapped? Ooh. That was Shell City. I want it. Ten bananas adds up. People switch Kongs in the underwater sections as if it means anything. Whoa. You know what's actually really weird as well? I'm talking about like how, oh, like there's a lot of like SNES level, SNES era, like, uh, platformers. I never really played a lot of them because, you know, I was back in the SNES days. I think the first opportunity I really had to play most of these was either if they ever got re- you know, I was, I was gonna say remastered, but you know what I mean, like remastered in like the early 2000s sense of like it just gets kind of ported. No one ever really remastered games unless it was like Super Mario Advance or um... What's another one that actually had kind of that? I think of some better examples. Uh... Okay, we haven't gone there, but I'll just mention Choro Q2. Cough, cough. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's definitely like some some games that kind of had that, but it was like, oh, you know, it's it, it is like sort of a remaster. But yeah, most of the time they were just kind of ports until, um, well, I was gonna say the virtual console was like no, the virtual console was all ports as well. But still, I, once I got to the Virtual Console days, that was like my opportunity to really like play a lot of these older games. Um, cough, cough. Uh, totally. Not a, not just casually finding a... Some... Dude, I I swear someone... Must have been Warrior Land 4. I think I actually used like a, a, a trainer ROM on the Let's Play video. You can spot like the trainer logo at the beginning. And I'm like, what a... What a, uh, a mark of authenticity right there. I hope I didn't have any of those trainer features turned on. That would have been, like, real embarrassing. Side note, I love the way that the camera does snap to the right, like, parts of the level. That's a very, like, understated part about how, how neat this game is. Because there's a lot of platformers where it's, like, either the camera is very fixed, like it is in, um... Uh, Mario World in particular, it's like, levels can only really go up and down. Alright. Whoa. Gotta hit the B. Oh. 
that's not how you hit the B. Dang it, Buck Bumble. Why are you doing this to me? What did I ever do to you? Um, anyway, so, so me commenting on like, oh, I never played like a, a lot of these like SNES era games. And then it's like, I played Earthworm Jim. I don't exactly know how I played Earthworm Jim. Maybe one day I'll play it, but Earthworm Jim is a rather tough game. Oh. for him to get yellow as opposed to doing this. Now I'm angry. Oh, he's coming for me. He's coming. He's coming. Oh. And then we broke both barrels, because why not? He is, he is coming, he's angry. Ooh. Oh, banana. Well, that's three worlds done. Maybe this is a one stream affair. Snow Barrel Blast. I do like me a snow level. A snow way like snow day. It doesn't snow in Australia, really. Some places, some mountains. Actually, dude, can you, like, blast into the... Okay, I thought you could, like, blast into the mountain there. Oh, so close. Dang it, shning shnong snappy. That's some vintage Australia right there. Um, but yeah, it's like, oh, I've played Earthworm Jim. Uh, I don't really know how exactly. I think I was at, like, a cousin's place, and they had the, um, the Win95 Special Edition. And the, the window had just... You could just level select in that menu. There's a lot of, like, games where it's like, oh, there's a Windows version. The Windows version is just kind of, like, basic. I don't even want to call it window WinForms, because, like, it was before WinForms was a thing. But it's, like, that kind of, like, basic window layout where it's just, like, it's got a menu bar and everything, but it just kind of renders into the, the window. get like a one-up for bouncing off so many enemies. Send the vultures! I'm in the- I'm in the zone though. I'm feeling it. Is there anything- oh, I was like, is there anything off to the left? I don't know if that's off a barrel. We'll just- we'll just continue on. Why not? So I assume that- oh. <laughs> There's a lot of signs that just say caves as well. Now, obviously, Donkey Kong is not settled for... Two times in a row. Uh, obviously, Donkey Kong is not settled for getting some of the bananas. He wants all the bananas, dang it. So we'll go with that. I'm trying to think, what's another, like, 2D platformer where it's like, I definitely had played it. Like... Oh... Oh, three times in the same area now. Oh, we need to get, we need to get a running start. There you go. Whoa. There we go. We're good. Oh, maybe we're not. Uh, oh. Pain. I sort of like second guess because the the foreground. Side note, by the way, I have no idea how rough this is looking on stream because there's so much like you know clutter, H two six four like panic going on. I apologize. Fun fact: Did you know that YouTube supports uh, AV one only for like some people? Like you have to be a partner to do that. Like I can't just upload an AV one. Um, I think if your video has HDR. a rather interesting cut. I will accept it. I will just accept that. As long as I don't die, and then I have to... We're good. We're good. I accept it. <laughs> um, oh, I, I keep getting irked by the fact that, like, you can't do AV1 unless you upload in HDR for some reason. And then you can do, um, 
144p HDR. And, uh... It, it has to be AV1. That's just how it works. Where's the... Oh, I was like, do I just gotta throw it? Or sometimes you can just bounce off the, um... Dang it. I'll get one of those one day. I don't know if it's even going to be on stream. <laughs> I'll just get one of those one day. I want to go back in and give it another go. Hi, hi, yes. Let me off. Something warm about these crystals. I know it's like the ice cave, but it's like, I don't know. Something kind of chill. As you constantly ascend for some reason. Because everyone loves ascending forths. The music is so good. Anyone play the, uh, was it the Tim Tang test? I think it, like, completely overused a ton of, like, Donkey Kong Country music at the beginning. That's like a jam, that's a vibe. Oops. Okay, I guess we'll just... I'm not really sure why I'm like, oh, let's go left here. Because I know there were two paths, but... Well, you know what that means, I get a second chance at uh, this. Maybe one day I can win some money. There you go, first try. A whole balloon, just for me. Very, very nice. Sunk like a rock. Um, but yeah, no, I'm trying to think of some other ones. But probably on the Game Boy kind of era. Because, um, I mean, it's like, you know, me going like, oh, 3D games are the best. And then it's like, bro, like, how many 3D games are on the Game Boy Color. It's a non-zero amount. There's, a, there's an actual amount of games. But I don't know if it's like one that one would say is emblematic of the console or also uh, they're particularly amazing. Uh, there's a few that I've played such as, uh, oh my gosh, that was the way to go. Whoa. Um, there's a few I've played like uh, <laughs> Big Mother Truckers on the GBA and it's like, yup, it is indeed 3D. Was it worth it? Mm, not as much. Dang it. Now I gotta do the the, the <laughs> little Kong mini game again. Ah, it's a fair bit until you get to a checkpoint up there, ain't it? Um, yeah. I don't know. There's probably other ones, like there's genres where it's just like, I just kind of avoid them. And it's not because I like hate those genres, but it's just, I've never really gotten into them. And then I always feel like, oh, I'm not in the mood to play them. And it's like, I don't know if that's actually healthy. Like I'll probably never play a strategy game if I ever have that like mindset the whole time. I really need to just like commit to playing some of them. Fighting games are probably in the same boat, where it's like, I don't, I don't exactly, like, get fighting games. Alright, hold on. Alright, let's, let's jump in this, like, space here. What on earth? Ah! Oh, I think it's in that wall there. We'll get there. We'll get there. So. But in the same way as I guess I probably had a similar feeling for music. There were some genres where it's just like, I'd be like, never. And now I'm like, still never, but I know why it's never. 
Dude, that's kind of annoying because that's just not that visible on screen. There you go. I was so close to a, to a secret, to a, to a checkpoint all three times. And then we'll proceed to just get through the level, you know? A lot of bananas, I'll tell you that. Gotta watch out for the bees. Everyone hates bees, apparently. There you go. Oh my gosh. Slidey boys all over the shop. Wait, whoa. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like there's something kind of cathartic about going back and really kind of experiencing these uh, games that I'd mostly only played on my channel. And they're not really games, like some of the games I grew up with, but then it's like there's other ones and you can tell. Eh, eh. There you go. Cog. Every time. Why is, why is this here? Why is there one rope right there? I think that's a rope from like earlier in the level and it's just kind of sticking up there. Oh well. Yay, Sage! <laughs> oh, excuse me? What are you doing back there? It's a very precarious spot for a barrel, ain't it? Some bouncy boys, I'll tell you that. Precarious spot for a rope. First the cliff, now the rope. Oops. Oh, come on. Come on, son. Oh, well. It's okay. Oh! My patience is apparently non-existent. Oh, I gotta get that Kong, though. See ya! <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, is there one other thing on the internet? Uh, some kind of topic or issue? Games have been slow in terms of, not as in like, games are slow, but as in like, the actual like, volume of games related news and other kinds of things is generally on the slower side these days. Oh, we are just gonna leave this and I'm gonna go into Espresso Minigame. You can do this kind of hovering, which is pretty fun. There you go, very, very nice. Push for 400. Can we do 400? Heck yeah! Woo. I need more lives. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. There we go. Whoop. Now it becomes night time. What? 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 Okay, that's just mean again. The momentum got me on that one. Does that mean I got to do the 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 jump again? I, oh no! Oh, we hit a checkpoint. Maybe bonus areas count as checkpoints. That's a nice incentive, ain't it? Yeah, no, I don't know. News has been kind of slow. Uh, a lot of the time, not a lot of time, but like in the past, um, I'd usually like call upon like just controversial things I see on like Twitter. Because that's, that's obviously like how, you know, you know, that's, that's where news is apparently. It's just Twitter.
Oh, hi there. There you go. Oh, it's like we're gonna have to. Oh, well, I got one jump out of it, which uh, didn't get me into the future. That would have been cool to do the rest of the level S flying. Okay, here we go. There you go. There's a lo Oh! Come on, Donkey Kong was on the ledge. I, I could have swapped to him. Maybe the game's going nice on me. It's going, oh, you know, you're dying. We're going to give you both Kongs at the beginning, despite the fact that there's a barrel that gives you <laughs> the other Kong right there. It's here am I constantly going into the same bonus area again and again. It even gives me the token every time. I feel like I can milk this if I really wanted to. There's a comfy amount of bananas just right here, you know? Well, let's see how we do this. Pro tip, don't hold right. Oh my gosh, that was a, that was a shocking display. I apologize on that one. <laughs> oh no. There's a part of me that's like, I really want to play these games like super skillfully. Cause there's some games, there's some games where I'll play them. And they're like games that I've played like, you know, since I was super young and I played them over and over and over and over again. And it's like the back of my hand. So when someone's like, oh dude, how do you get through this game? Like no sweat. I'm like, I've played Quake before. I know what I'm doing there. But when it comes time to put the grunt to metal, it's like, yeah, nah, here's a game that I've played like three times in my entire life. Uh, one was in 2008, one was in 2018. It's been six years since then. Like, I'm trying to recall, man. I'm trying to recall all the bits. And I've only played Donkey Kong Country 2 once, so I'm even less clear on that one. I will definitely say, yeah, there was the original intention to, like, on the YouTube channel to play all the Donkey Kong Countries, and then also all the Golden Suns, and all the War all the Mario Lands, which I ended up kind of doing pretty much all the Mario Lands, but it's like... For 20! <laughs> but yeah, I, there's a part of me that's like, I really want to spice things up, and I know I play franchises even now on stream, but it's like, I try to play like a, a comfy variety of games. We try to not do the games of the same franchise in the same year. And before you say, but you played both Mario Lands, that was one singular stream, because Mario Land 1 is a really short game. And Mario Land 2 is a short enough game that you can play it in the same stream that you played Mario Land 1. There you go, we are finally past that. Oh, okay, okay. Don't second guess, don't second guess, just run it. Just run it. Oh, the checkpoint was there the whole time. And we got our favorite orangutans. Oh boy, oh boy. Ugh. See, now I'm starting to sweat. I'm trying to, I'm starting to sweat on this level design. I'm like, oh boy. Oh. I could have, I could have harnessed that pro strat right there. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. We're good. Did I get the N? I didn't even get the K. At least that's a comfy indicator where almost at the, there we go. <laughs> right at the end. Hooray! Very nice. Croctopus Chase. Okay, more swimming levels. Everyone likes a good swimming level. You know, it's a, a real interesting one when it comes to, like, you know, taking a good spin on these 2D game mechanics is a uh, Crash Bandicoot is a, pretty much the perfect example of, like, converting this into a 3D kind of world. Because most Crash Bandicoot levels are not really 3D, or at the very least they are... Like, when people say, like, oh, Mario 3D Land is 3... Oh my gosh, hi. I'm glad I can hold up. I should probably be holding up instead of just 
going for it. Um, but I always love to have like, oh, it's like, it's a 3D Mario game that plays like a 2D Mario game. And it's like, bro, that Crash Bandicoot has got you back there. I know it's not quite a Mario game, but it's like, you know what I mean? It's like, there are 2D platformers. Oh. Pain. Just pain. Um, you know what I mean? There are 3D platformers that have a lot of just 2D s design, I guess. Not necessarily it is 2D. And when you say 2D elements, it's like, mm, it kind of is just regular old, you know, do you have a third dimension or not? But I think the way that Crash Bandicoot works is very much like it is exactly like a 2D platformer, whereas uh, if you take uh, Mario 64, that is a perfect example of 3D. And I think the easiest way to, you know, differentiate the two is uh, the fixed camera angle. It's usually just the big tell. A lot of Mario games would have dynamic camera angles. In Mario 3D Land, it was all fixed. It was all pretty stationary. And I think that's kind of the tell. And and that's not to say that there are other... Um, oh my gosh, that one. Okay, we should just, just get past them. Um... Because we'll probably hit a checkpoint right here, and I'll be like, ah, oh, look, a checkpoint again. Ooh. Oh, he's gone fast on me. I appreciate this. There you go, there's a checkpoint. Um, but I'm trying to think of, like, what's another, like, 3D game where the ca oh, shark. Dang it, shark. Watch yourself. There was some gnarly shark attacks I saw on Twitter. Freaking Twitter is, like, you know, all these sites, all these, like, sites that are, like, big, like, red flag sites. It's just a segue from camera angles and stuff. There's a lot of, like... Not red flags, but you know what I mean? It's like, Live Leak has a certain reputation, or had a certain reputation, and then they proceeded to crack down on that. Um, Tumblr had a reputation, for example. And then it's like, the moment they crack down on it, that just leaks into the sites that haven't cracked down on it. And, uh... Like, that kind of people, that behavior, that kind of content, uh, is gonna have to exist somewhere. Someone is just gonna post it. Uh... And unfortunately, Twitter is inevitably that site for a lot of things now. So, uh, I get to see Shark Attack. Uh, not the attacks itself, but certainly the, uh, aftermath of a Shark Attack. Which is good fun. Don't look that up. It's, a uh, proper... Proper real gore. I'm glad... I'm glad, uh... You know, that kind of stuff is there. I, I mean, to some degree, it's like, well, you know, like... If it's not there, where else would it be? And it's like, uh... Just, uh, Maybe in a place where it's like, I'd have to be looking out for it, or... You describe it, and then... You know, we, I can I can look it up later, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just kind of get, like, caught off guard. Oh, uh, this level will, um, flashbang people when, uh, the, the light goes towards the camera. You have been warned. Apparently, I was- thank you Cutting Room Floor for telling me about this, um, or telling everyone about this. Uh, the, um, <laughs> the Virtual Console version specifically removes this. So the Virtual Console version is slightly different, and it's because every single time you go left and right, you are flashbanged. The effect is cool. I love it. But it's like, also, mm, my eyes. <laughs> so, I, I- I don't know. I love the effect. This was the level as well that, like, really, like, got me, um, you know, having to learn the rolling. Because I feel like I got through a lot of the, um, the game on my original run without necessarily worrying about it. I love these wheels. These wheels are so cool. These, like, spiky wheels. Also, I guess this is your just player's Diddy Kong Bro level. Because it's like, are you jumping on anyone in this level? No. I knew this level wasn't very long as well, so... Let's see if we can get a lot of bananas out of this guy while flashbanging ourselves all the time. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> it's like, man, my eyes every time I do it. Ah. Ah. ah, so close. Oh well. So, easy level. Easy stuff. Oh, look at that. There's a save point over here. Thank you, Candyland. Candyland? Wait a minute. <laughs> Candyland is. Oh, we're past 1 minute 10. Alas. And this is only level 24, if you count the boss levels as their own levels as well. Um, that being said, though, that's what? 60% of the way through the game? We're. And, you know, we've got plenty of time. So I'm confident. We'll just do this in one stream. Easy. There's a part of me that's like, oh, it's short, but then it's like, oh, it's a SNES game, you know? Like, sometimes they are this short. Oops. I've completely lost track of, like, myself because the camera is, like, so far down there. And I lost track of myself. <laughs> you just gotta know how you jump. Ooh. Uh, but anyway, yeah. No, so, uh... You know what I mean? I feel like this idea of... I saw, saw, also saw this barrel this time. Um... 2D games that feel, sorry, 3D games that feel like 2D games. For me, I guess the big feeling is, yeah, the lack of camera controls or really designing a level around a fixed camera. Um, and that seems to kind of be the big tell because I, there's not a lot of 2D games that really let you... Oh, just completely butchered the bounce. I was like, is the barrel still there? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm trying to think of another one. Another game that's like that. You know what I mean? It's like there's not a lot of like 2D games that particularly involve camera controls. Some of them have like looking as a feature. It's a bit of a weird feeling there. Okay, we'll rock it while... Well, it's going. Boing. 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 Oh. Switch to Diddy, why not? This is a very Diddy level. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Oh. 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 There we go. Oh my gosh, again. Come on. There you go. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> Dude, we're starting into like serious mode of just like, I uh, gotta make sure I don't fall. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. We're good. Again, with the double bounce into. Oh, is this the end of the level? I always get surprised when it's like, we're there, you know? I'm gonna get memed on by one guy. Hey, I saw the arrow, that's usually your indicator at the end of the level. You had two challenges going on there. Come on, game. Come on. Oh, here we are. Really Ganorty Rampage. It's, uh, reskin. He jumps. He does jump. Ooh. Is there anything that's that much harder about him? Uh. Not really. <laughs> Not really that much harder. Getting close to the Creme Croc Industries Inc. We've got two more worlds. The Oil Drum Alley. More Tim Tang test kind of music. This convoluted way to crack I missed it. Or you aim for that. Because I'm pretty sure like there's no like invisible platforms. That is properly a uh, oil drum that's on fire that you had to jump over.
Well, at least I know that one. I'm not alive, dang it. Oops. <laughs> no life for me. Dang it. Angry. Oh. Uh, there's probably other ones as well. There's other games where it's like they transcend their genre and it's just because they've understood that a different genre has a fundamental. I think one of my favorites is uh, Doom is a perfect example of a shoot 'em up. And it's like, oh, you know, like, you shoot things in Doom. Doesn't that make sense? It's like, yeah, but like, as in like, a shoot 'em up, like, if I say Toho, I don't know if that's like the best example, but... Ugh. But more like, Doom is a game all about like, dodging projectiles and all this stuff. The only difference is just that it's first person and you have a bunch of weapons and you're shooting enemies. Uh, well, actually that doesn't even stop like a lot of other shoot 'em ups. Um, you know what I mean, where it's like there's like... It's not like a hide behind cover or a run and quickly like pop like enemies kind of dancing game in the same way as like Unreal is, for example. Unreal is a great example of a very, very different kind of you know, shooter. Or Duke Nukem 3D, you can go with that. But like Doom has a specific art to like how all of its enemies are just kind of, oh, dang it. Um, all of its enemies are just like interesting kind of projectile fire towards you and they move around in a bit of a weird way and they have different amounts of health. Um, there's obviously still a lot of, you know, level exploring, and that's what sets it apart from virtually every other shoot 'em up but... I think there's a combination of, like, just... Of, a You know, having that... Is, is, is this... Tire used for anything? I'm expecting, like, a ledge or something to grab onto. That's a bit of a weird one there. It's for that O. Oh, no, not really. And there's a checkpoint. Dying before the checkpoint. Or oh, these levels are short enough. I appreciate the teaching you the mechanic again. But the barrels will sometimes also. The barrels will sometimes turn off. Well, I need to do that, I guess. Music is still eternally a vibe, though. I love it. Whoa, that was a <laughs> that was a pelt for a secret, wasn't it? It's foreground, I tell ya. Oh. There we go. Good stuff. We're good, we're good. Oh, I'm hot. I'm a hot Kong. And I'm a dead Kong. Ugh. Oh well. But, uh, I'm, I don't know. I gotta think of some better examples, but, um, definitely. I feel like that's, uh, that's what makes some games stand out way more than others. Just having that just kind of, like, cross-genre. Oops. Not even necessarily having a cross genre kind of approach, but just ah, very dead. We'll get there. We'll get there. There's a part of me that's like, come on, we're at we're at world five. Like, I've got the momentum going. Didn't, I didn't get it going that time. Alas. Oh! Oh! They're getting me. They're getting me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I sort of... I'm, I'm longing for some actual gaming news of some kind, uh... I think it's been just the general, you know, like, uh, what's the, what, well, how would I classify it? It's like, there's YouTuber drama, all that jazz. 
Uh, there's politics, there's, of course, the, the shark, which I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of that. Um, and to some degree, like, I don't know, maybe it's just the people I'm following. I guess that's kind of, you know, Twitter lives and breathes by the people you follow and not necessarily the, uh, the algorithm of uh, what it recommends because, uh, one, I use Nitter, so there's no excuse for me. He's a double pelter. Whoa, that's a quick one. Oh, now it's not quick. What happened there? Oh, it's a long, short, long. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get what you're going for. There you go. I'm I'm onto your game. I'm onto you. I see what you're doing. It's like a good feeling once you nail the last part, you know. Trick track track. That's right. It's only it's we haven't even done like a second minecart level. I believe this one uh, is one where the uh, the V1 version it was kind of cruel because the platforms would just like fall off right at the end. It's kind of weird seeing like Donkey Kong like trailing. In gravity. Okay, whoop. I hate birds. I mean, you saw me play Tomb Raider 3. But yeah, there's a part of me that, like, wants to continue playing, like, other kinds of f ooh, franchise games uh, on stream, but, you know, there's also other new experiences. I'd, I'd love to, like, balance it out kind of 50-50, like, let's just, you know, get a good mix of them. Wah. Wah. Okay, a part, of, a part of that, I'm like, I'm like, I pressed the roll button again, and it's like, that's just because my thumb is dead. I've been doing, like, Gran Turismo. Yeah, the, pla the, the, the platform would just fall off. It's, can you even get there? with Donkey Kong. Oh. There you go. Can't tell where it goes though. Round and round and round it goes. Where it stops, no one knows. Actually, it's, it seems to be a pretty straightforward square, doesn't it? There you go. <laughs> Every banana. Oh yeah, these guys jump on. <laughs> At least it's not like the, the Mario platforms where they slow it down. Actually, maybe that's a later Donkey Kong Country actually does that exact same mechanic as well. But yeah, like, uh, to, oh, to talk about the game itself again. Uh... Uh, it's hot. No, it, it's tricky, but the, the the number of lives is decently forgiving with, like, what they want you to do. But, yeah, I think the real, like, nice part, and this is something that I actually do commend a lot of really good platformers for doing, is, uh, there's a lot of variety. Like, almost every level has actually been, like, introducing its own mechanic and kind of running with that. I, I absolutely loved Rayman 2 for being exactly that. Dude, how do you get that barrel? You just gotta jump early, I guess. Oh, what a Donkey Kong like filter right there. It's like, oh, you're not using Donkey Kong at that moment. <sighs> I guess you can see it coming a bit of, a bit away, can't you? Um, but it certainly is like you know a bit tricky, and I think the easiest explanation is that you know. One death. Yeah, I think you just gotta jump on there, because there's no way you can really get up there otherwise. Hold on. Oh, I can't do my Donkey Kong test because I'm moving! Am I even not on a moving platform? I don't think I'm not on a moving platform. I don't think I can switch. <laughs> I've just gotta be good. I've just gotta actually avoid him. Or do the the barrel. Yeah, 
There we go. Easy. First try. Oh, he jumps. He jumps. He jumps when I jump. Can you see? Oh, that's going to get very weird at the end, isn't it? that was like a later checkpoint and not like me having to do this whole section again checkpoint it sort of looks like I'm back to exactly where I was it's gonna have to get yeah that didn't <laughs> that just moved me back and they're like we gave you the opportunity for the Donkey Kong switch you proceeded to still not do the Donkey Kong switch I'm like yeah that's fair no uh, oh, come on oh where are you walking Come on, come on, son, come on. Burn all lives on this level. Burning all my lives on every level, really, at this rate. There we go, first try. We're passing. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Now we gotta do. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was worried we had to deal with another one. It's like, oh. It'll probably show up again, though. I mean, the number of enemies, like, diving down. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh, it nearly baited me out there. Woo! good once he throws one backwards and then we're bad I think I've baited him yeah I was like oh, oh. <laughs> um, there we go good stuff we're done here very nice there's a good feeling though there's a real sense of satisfaction when you manage to nail something I think it's just because no level feels like it's um, there, I mean, I was about to say, no level feels like it's there as a gag, and it's like, no, the level's still, like, gimmicks, and sometimes they're easier than others, but... There's something kind of fun about, like, just every level being something different. Even if you could say, like, oh, this is a cave level, like, we've, we've seen a cave level before. And the answer is, oh, I guess, maybe, but have you seen one with snakes coming out of barrels? How cool is that? The barrels have come... come... Ugh. Come against you. I should have finished that sentence <laughs> instead of saying saying the word come twice. Ooh. It's a bit precarious. There we go. Oh, cool. What am I hearing? Hey, yeah. Head up. I was gonna say probably hit a checkpoint soon as if I've like actually made oh dang it. As if I've actually made like a ton of oh cheeky, cheeky ten bananas. Um <laughs> There we go, we're good. There's a checkpoint. Where's my Kong letters? Where are they chilling? Where are they hiding? I love these things. It's very Mario 1, these kinds of platforms. Okay, what was that? What was that? I will rip on this game because that's happened twice. Where I've jumped on an enemy and he's, I've just casually taken the hit of the thing that he was firing at that exact frame. Um, I just feel like there's a bit of like, hey, come on, if I hit the guy, that should count, right? Just there's no reason why his projectile suddenly counts at the same point. Uh, but no, nah, there's something like very just kind of serene and chill about the uh, environments and the art somewhat as well. Oh, 
and I fall into a cliff. I, or I've fallen down a cliff, rather. I'm not into a cliff, but down a cliff. Oh. <laughs> Interesting there. Um, definitely, I guess this game is good enough that it got two direct sequels, uh, one of which being... Uh, I don't know if Donkey Kong Country 3 was, like... The last Nintendo published SNES game, but it certainly feels like it. It's like right at that point, you know, 1996. Nintendo were very hard and just immediately like going straight for the N64. They were like, "Yeah, 3D, the Ultra 64." Whoa. <laughs> and uh, and it's weird because in hindsight, do people love the Nintendo 64 in the same way as the SNES? I feel like the short answer actually is yes. Like, they are different consoles. They certainly do have different kinds of games and to some degree different kinds of markets. The 2D platformer and the 3D platformer, or the 3D really anything, have different markets, I guess. But in the same way, I feel like, uh, is there exactly a, um, you know, a... S I don't know, what's a genre? There's some genres I feel like are just better represented on the N Nintendo 64 or the PlayStation um, compared to the SNES generation. Look at that. So just note that 45% is counting uh, secrets and things like that, so clearly I've missed secrets in this level. Poison Pond, Poison Ponda. That's right, we've made an underwater level that's green. And if you, if you don't follow bananas, you can find letters. And sharks, apparently. But, uh... Yeah, no, I... Uh, and it's, it's kind of interesting as well, because... When I... Oh, dude, okay, real talk, you want to feel old? You want to feel so old? Here we go, here's how we do it. Um... The original... This game came out in 1994. Uh, I did my Let's Play in 2008, which would have been 14 years after the game's release. Uh, it has been 16 years since that. And now the game is 30. Uh, I always feel like a hey, games are old when, you know, you, you have like a multiple of 10 kind of age. Sometimes a multiple of 5, if like 25 or 15 feels more significant. But 30 is like a point where it's like, this is like longer. It's been, it's been longer since like the beginning of video games. Sorry. It's been longer to this game than this game was to the beginning of video games. Like video games exist. Video games are fun and cool and good. Ah, ah. Video games are fun and cool and all that jazz. But it's like a part of me is like, I wasn't there for the beginning. I don't know what it was like when the Odyssey came out. And people were like, what is this? A game? A fun? You can you can turn your electric appliance into a, a game? What kind of magic is that? And uh, that's the, uh, you know, the, uh, the reductivism I have, I guess. Like games, as they get more complex, it's like a part of me is like, oh, that makes sense. Um, and also a part of me is like, they get abused into Skinner boxes and that kind of stuff, which is, oh, okay. It's not, it's not as fun. It's not as cool. Um, oh, side note, uh, someone, I think it was on the Bepinex Discord. I always follow them uh, on their, uh, their memes because they're great fun. Someone posted a, uh, a video that was um, titled uh, Let's Go Whaling, which uh, I forget the guy, mostly because I've never heard of him before, but uh, he's a CEO of a, a mobile game company, and he's just like, He's just like, you know, let's let's skip the ethics and just immediately talk about like all the ways that you can basically gouge as much money out of your customers in a way that actually works. And he basically like just goes through like, man, I want to go for all these bonuses, but it, I mean, it may be, you know, the trickiest water level in the game. It might be what, what it's designed to be, so. Because I mean, if you think about it, we've got uh, this, I think there's two more levels, and then the boss level of this world, and then there's five levels in the boss level of the last world coming up. 
So I mean, out of like all the levels, you know, this is the eighth last proper level. So I was like, oh, every time, every time. <laughs> um, but uh, in that video, let's go whaling. Um, he sort of mentioned like, a, I mean, a lot of like just simple concepts where it's like, I don't really think there's like a higher like science to how, you know, some of that works or a lot of that works. Man, these like diagonal jellyfish, they get me because I'm not going fast enough to... Oh. oh, this part, yeah, this is... This is a core memory right here dealing with this. Um, whoa, whoa. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're still good. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, a lot of the things are, are ones like, for example, it's like, oh, you know, like, don't let players know that 90% of the player base doesn't actually, like, spend money on the game. You want to make it seem like they're, you know, it's normal for people to spend money. Uh, sup, Maverick? How's it going? I'm talking about, uh, this one video, uh, titled Let's Go Whaling. Uh, where a mobile game dev basically describes, or he's not a dev, he's a CEO, which means that <laughs> it's probably, probably one up of, oh, dang it. Um... Where it's like he, uh, you know, how to gouge as much money out of your, uh, your mobile player base as possible. Anyone love Donkey Kong Country? I love Donkey Kong Country. I love this game. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> okay, I, I, I say I love it. I, I love it in a, in a, like, an outsider perspective because I've not played it that many times. I think this is, like, my third time. I got the game on my birthday. Ah! Oh, happy birthday. It, it may not be your birthday today, but... It's a great gift. Did you get, like, the, the original SES version on your birthday? Because I, like, I was mentioning earlier as well, oh, and I... We'll get there, we'll get there. Um, I was mentioning that, uh, uh, like, I'm a bit too young to have experienced, like, the release of Donkey Kong Country. Um, and so there's a part of me that's like, I do wonder what was... The sentiment. I know, like, people, you know, like, there's a lot of people who lived at the time. Oh, I wasn't around for it, the GBA version. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, that was the same fish. I touched him twice. I feel like the GBA version is very, very faithful, other than maybe it's, like, a bit trickier because it's a bit, uh, more zoomed in. Uh, in the same way as I had a. Uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe on the Game Boy Color as one of my earliest games, and uh, I mean it's old school as heck. It's like it's literally Super Mario Brothers in a port form factor. I love how I never mentioned that one by the way when I was like talking about uh, ports and handheld versions. It's like yep, there's one that I played with. Um, okay, I need to get the end. There we go. We got the end. Out of dark. We're good. Very nice. I thought Super Mario Advance was the first Mario ever. I mean, when- it, oh, oh, I forgot they do the invisible walls sometimes. The cheeky lads. The cheeky lads. I love how it just kind of spits you outside there. But, oh, nice. Uh, I think I just got to swim up after it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. We're at the end of the level already. Oh, oh, gotta avoid the fish, avoid the fish, avoid the fish. Oh. Gee. Oh. Uh, we're good. Other than he might respawn that. Nope, we're good. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I want a DK Classic game. Yeah, it is a bit curious that these games... Mmm. I say it's curious that they haven't been re remastered in, in some sort of way, but one, I guess Nintendo is uh, not one to remaster their games very much. Um, but also, they have... I mean, around the GameCube era, it's like you were forced to get the GBA versions of these games. I guess that's the selling point. Oh my gosh, it's three times now. Three times on that one fish. Um... I, I assume that's what they were trying to pull off, was like, oh, older games get handheld releases. I actually don't mind that idea, I guess. Um, as long as there's no compromises, which 
I guess there always is. A lot of these games kind of have compromises, especially once you get into the 3D era. And it's like, you could just play the game at like a higher resolution if it wasn't for the fact it was on a handheld. You know, like, for example, Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. Or, or 3D, rather. The HD one just came out, or just is coming out, um, with DK Arcade, DK Junior, DK3, Country Games, and 64. Yeah, that is true, though. Don't, like, the, those NES ones don't get re-releases, really, ever. Um, 64, is 64 not on the Nintendo 64 Switch expansion pass? I do know that did get onto the Wii Virtual Console at the time. So at least there's that. Um, oh, oh, oh. Side note, the bubbles really make uh, the underwater levels feel special in this one. There's so many underwater games where it's like, they don't do bubbles! It's like you need the bubbles. Just any kind of bubble effect. It, it'll work, it's great. I, I just want to like, skin out, I just want to like, get through. Get, I was right there, I died at the last thing. DK return, oh, next year? Okay, it's next year. Uh, but at, at the very least, that will be like a very, you know, definitive edition of the game, uh, which is always good, because I feel like there's always a worry about like handheld versions of, of games, you know, like ports and stuff, where it's like, they can feel like inferior versions when, you know, that's, oh, Mr. K, Special K is gone. Such a weird release date. It is, because it's like, it's Donkey Kong Country Returns. It's a game from 2009, 2010? I forgot the year exactly. I missed the O! I feel like minecart levels are probably like the hardest ones when you're trying to collect everything. They probably are in Donkey Kong Country Returns. Oh, do what I did. Switch 2 will surely be out. I agree. My hunch for the Switch 2, this is an optimistic claim and not a anyone has confirmed anything claim. Uh, my hunch is the Switch 2 is probably running on uh, a uh, Switch, uh, a Tegra, um, was it Odin? Was that the, the generation? It's like an Ampere um, generation Tegra, so this would be um, uh, like a 2020 kind of model. Um, the main reason why I feel like Nintendo usually lean to war usually lean towards that is because, uh, you know, they're near, they're, very, they're near the end of life, which means that they can actually be a bit cheap. Um, and I, like, my hope is that it's backwards compatible because I don't see there being anything architecturally that goes, hey, you know, you can't play the old games. Um, that's always a, a catch with um, virtually every other game console when it's not backwards compatible. It's just because it's lacking the, um, you know, the hardware features, sorry, the hardware like capabilities of that platform. That's what I, I'm going for. Uh, not all the time. Also, this is a cheeky, cheeky bit right there. Um, not all the time because I think some people famously noted that the Wii U is directly like backwards compatible with GameCube games, but the disc, you know, they wouldn't play GameCube discs and they only sold them through the virtual console kind of service. So it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> if you have a mod your, your Wii U, you can do that. You can do that pretty all right. Ah, oh, this level. This is where boys turn into men, this level. Because it's just like, you know, as long as I can still play all my Switch games, I think as well, like, the Switch, first of all, uh, or not first of all, because I've said, like, a ton of points, but, like, uh, the Switch is, like, an insane console in terms of sales. Um, like, it's, it's, it is potentially, like, a few months away from surpassing the PS2 as being the highest sold system of all time. I think Nintendo is nuts if they would, like, kill support for that. Um, I say knowing full well that, like, the PS3, um, they did that eventually over time, but uh, I guess with the PS3, the original PS3s, at least, yeah, the original PS3s, every release of it had some form of, you could play all the PS2 games. I have like 3,500 euro invested in that beast. The PS3? What are you investing in again? 
or unless you're saying Nvidia, in which case, ooh, very nice. But also watch out because investors realize that like that, it's all kind of funny money. The Switch. How do you spend $3,500 on the Switch or euros on the Switch? I'm actually curious, I'm curious. Oh, like, oh, okay, I see what you mean. I don't think I have 27 Switch games and uh, partially it's because I do prefer just my games on PC these days if I have the choice. But there's a lot of great, oh, there's a lot of great Switch games out there. Um, I probably own like... We put the banana there, why is... There's probably a barrel underneath, I never download digitally. I only had to do it out of like necessity for various games that just do not have Australian releases. Um, I would love to import games. I like, I am so glad the Switch is region free. I think it's an absolute absurd idea that like region locking, uh, at least on the 3DS, was a thing. Cause I'm just like, come on guys, really? There's no, there's no reason. There's no reason. It's not like it stopped piracy. It just, it just limits the number of games that people can get. At least when it came to like older game consoles, there are some games like Mario Maker 2 that we don't have here. What country are you in? Um, you're saying Euro, so... I'm gonna take a guess before it comes up on screen. Uh, Denmark. Shout out to De Portugal, complete opposite side of Europe. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked that Mario Maker 2 didn't come out with you. Like, is it, is it like a language localization thing? They just didn't do the language and therefore didn't release it, or? I feel like a lot of games, it's like, oh, they come out in English anyway, so it's like. Okay, I gotta get past the Shing Shong Snappies. Um, and it's weird, because like, there's a part of me that's like, how much of Mario Maker really needs, like, translation or localization? There's actually, um... I had to get the game digitally. Also, when you get the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> when you get the game digitally, is it like, you have to switch your regions to do that, or...? Okay, I can tell exactly what's about to happen if... Oh, where's the barrel? No barrel. Oh well. At the very least, I guess switching regions on your Switch is fairly straightforward. Boss Dum Drum. Here we go. That's right, it's not a reskin, it's a drum. It's like a barrel of monkeys. Oops. Oops. Do we just stall them out? Is that how we do it? That's probably how we do it. It's been a while since I've played this. Play. Uh, usually I just play uh, a game, like a singular game for two hours on stream. Oh my gosh, how do you... I'm gonna roll into them. Someone's gonna yell at me because I wasn't rolling into them before. Um, yeah, usually I play just one game for two hours on stream. I'm on a roll right now, so I'm gonna try and beat this. Um, um, and then, uh, we'll, you know, we'll end the stream there. Um, but, well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's, there's one world after this, so I'm on a good roll. Uh, currently, I, I, I'm in Sydney, Australia, mate. So it's, uh, it's 10.30pm. It's uh, usually a decent late-ish night uh, when I do the streams. I wake up, like, crack of dawn, which is... There you go. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. I don't do any monetization for reference. I'm just like, ah, I just play things for funsies. But that's all good. I try to do some insightful commentary and uh, keep the good banter. It's always good. Like, I, I think a lot of people, like, stumble upon s the streams. Um, there you go. I was right at the end again. Right at the end again. Oh, banana. <laughs> On to the last world, the Chimp Caverns. Tanked up trouble. I'm not too sure what- Ah, th yeah, this is exactly- Oh no, it's the fuel level. It's the fuel one. 
I'm, I was trying to remember if there was like a level where it's like it counts the number of enemies on the minecart and it slows or not the minecart but like on the platform and slows it down if there's more on it. I'm not sure if that's this level or if I'm just thinking you know like any old new Super Mario Brothers game because virtually all of them have a level that's like that. But I'll still reiterate I, I'm enjoying this game quite a fair bit. Just again coming back to it. it. It brings back memories, but they're not like solid memories in the sense of like, you know, we don't have Smash Bros here. What? Oh, this is. Yeah, okay, just bail. Just bail. Um, what do you mean you don't have Smash Bros? What the heck? What are they doing, Nintendo of Portugal? Get onto that, Nintendo. You've got a market of people who are having to buy games, like, out of country, basically. What is that? But, most importantly, do you have Dragon Quest XI? I know that's not Nintendo published, but still. That's, like, my absolute, like, favorite Switch game. And, uh, for a bit, it was a Switch exclusive, so I will attribute it to that. Given that it's an RPG, it's like, oh. Given it's an RPG, it's like, oh, how, how much given translation? Oh, I should have stuck on that platform. Oh. I've still got the barrel. The, 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 the tire. Tire gang, tire chat. Oh. Saved it, saved it. <laughs> We're good. Sega still makes so oh, true, yeah. The Brazil consoles are like the most like amazing thing, I feel. Oh. It was for the G. Nothing but the G thing. I don't know if that that's not what even that means. <laughs> I love how I nail this level pretty easily, but then some other ones it's just like, nah. <laughs> um but yeah. Different international markets. Yeah, while while I'm on the topic of like I, you know, different age demographics will have different, like, kinds of ways of playing, or, or not playing, or maybe playing as well, but, um, like, they grew up with games in different ways. There was different kind of just, you know, people, people getting hyped about the, the Nintendo 64 when they're kids. And that would have been me if I was, like, five years older. And my parents videotaped things. You can play Dreamcast here. The Dreamcast is cool because it doesn't have a uh, copy protection on CD-based games, does it? It's just kind of like, you can just wing it. Meanwhile, they, they got rid of that like so fast here in Australia. That, that Dreamcast was gone in like 2001. Such a shame. It's like the PS2 just came out and they looked at it and went, yep, no, everyone's getting that. Thank you, my man. Oh, this is gonna be chaos. Oh. Ah, easy money. Easy money. Oh, that's what... <laughs> I've been looking at, like, cave scenes like this in particular every time I show up going, what is that, like, weird, like, yellow thing in the corner? It's my lives every time. I'm definitely writing the number of lives have a bit fine, but I'm hoping, I, I don't know where exactly the, um, I might like be safe and just like do the, um, cause you can, you can take the, um, the, the Kong, the, the Funky Kong ride out of the world and then hit a save that's in another world, right? Yeah. So I, I might do that. Um, at the next possible opportunity, because uh, I don't trust myself. I feel like I'm doing a pretty alright job. I'm not, like, going back and, like, grinding lives or anything. Oh, no, this is the worst. What's the point? Why? Why, you did, why have you forsaken the game? But we're here at the checkpoint, so at least it's that. So any reason why Donkey Kong is hiding in a barrel? 
He just thought it'd be cool. Oops. That's okay. It's one hit and I'm a, and I'm dead anyway, so. Ugh. Okay, here we go, here we go. There we go. We're good. We're making it. We're making progress. Okay. Round and jump. Just go for it. Crush this lad in his head. In his head? Ugh. Painful. It's a Goomba stomp, I guess. There we go. How can Donkey Kong fit? Yeah, he's a big lad. He is a rather big guy. Oh. Who put this here? Oh. I thought it was a secret, but uh, it, well, I guess it is still. I don't know if I could fit in a barrel. You know, barrels are pretty tight. Uh, okay. I'll jump down here. Uh. Easy money. Easy money. Dude, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Barrel of snakes. I'm feeling confident. I don't need to like sit and grind. Cause yeah, the for for, for reference, um I am uh like I'm <laughs> I was gonna say, I am what they call a boomer. I'm not like that old, but um, uh, I played YouTube, I, sorry, I, I made Let's Plays back in 2008, and Donkey Kong Country was one of the first ones I did, and there's a part of me that's like, I played it so terribly, because you'd get the emulator and you'd spam all the rewinds and the save states, because uh, Proton John did it, and nothing in your head clicked that he was playing Kaizo, and therefore it's kind of warranted that you do that. <laughs> Whereas this is a game that people play on actual uh, stuff. Uh, you wanted a Wii growing up. What was the uh, the reason that stopped you getting the Wii? Was it and a PS3? I didn't have a PS3. For for me, it was mostly um, it was it was very expensive in Australia. It was actually a thousand dollars. Like I'm like no way am I getting that. There's a lot of things coming at me, but they're not exactly, like, blind. They're not like I can't see that they're coming. There's probably, like, secrets and stuff that I am certainly missing. But, like, none of these are too blind. We're way too poor. Is it... it I, oh, I guess it would have been around that time, yeah. Like, uh, you know, global financial crisis and just in general as well, like, you know. Things bite the, the bottom end. It costs 2,000 euros in Portugal. What the heck? Alright, here's Funky Kong. But I've also got plenty of lives. I might be able to wing this for like one more level. To get to the save point, And then we're pretty much set. So this is a, uh, a lights on level. Also, oh. excuse me. <laughs> Saw that banana. This is going to be fun when the lights turn off. That's not too bad, actually. That's our rent spent on a non-DVD player. I mean, back yeah, back then it was like you know, depending on what you're doing for home entertainment. Yeah, I could, I get that. Oh. DVDs are always kind of expensive, and it doesn't help that DVDs have um, licensing costs, like the actual DVD oh. itself. If you want to say like legally be selling something with a DVD, it's like oh. you got to pay. Um, like a 20 cent royalty to Philips for every single printed oh. disc. It's like, oh my gosh. It's insane. Um, so yeah, all that stuff, like, I can imagine costs are insane. And then also, you know, you sell them in Portugal. I don't know where the jump is. Okay. So instead, I scam someone for you. Scam someone! Well, hopefully there is no need to scam people in the future, you know what I mean? Is that a bird? <sighs> fake iPhone for a PS3. Ah! Oh. Where do you even get fake iPhones to sell off? I, I... I mean, that's... Like, I, I'm very, like, sympathetic for, like that kind of scenario because it's like there's a part of me that's like I get that that would you know happen 
in the sense of like mm. yeah I hate I hate that things cost like I was gonna say that things cost money like I get why things cost money but it's more like things are insane monies especially like you know today is pretty bad hey as long as you you recognize that that's all good and you don't do it anymore <laughs> Dude, the best part is like, not the best part, but like, I feel like there's not a hard, like, need to sell, like, f well, sorry. I don't know. Me as a consumer, it's like, I, I personally, I'm like, oh yeah, iPhones are like crazy expensive. Like, you can get a phone. It doesn't have to be an iPhone. Oh. And when I brought it home, my dad tried to sell it. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. I mean, I, 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 I get that, and, you know, if your living scenario sucks, it's like, you know, that. I've got mates, and, and, I mean, they're not, like, desperate in terms of, like, money when they were growing up, but definitely, like, they were, you know, hey, when you're done with a thing, you should sell it, because, uh, they'd always tell, tell the kids when they're young, it's like, oh, that's because someone else might want to play it, and, you know, you're done with it, that kind of stuff. And then you can use the money to, you know, buy more stuff, but really it's also like... Because the value of it to the family, if the family wants to, you know, move on, get something else. Nobody bought it because it was mad expensive, the PS1 was still popular. And it's insane as well, because like, I never imagined, like, Portugal to be... Like... Yeah, I was like, I see the drop there. Oh! 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 Never imagined Portugal to, like, be a country that has that, but I guess, like, really every country, depending on the, the class, I guess. We oh, nearly baited me at the end there. The PS1 is a great console, and its cost is insanely good as well, though. That, that always helps. Ronaldinho football. I always know it as, like, because a lot of countries speak Portuguese. I always know them as, like, basically, like, nailing the... nailing. Pioneering the South America region. I know that as well. Platform Perils. This is the last, like, actual level as well. And we've already hit the save, so... I feel a little more safer. I think this is a level that, like, definitely terrifies people as well. Nice. Partially because this is happening. Oh my gosh. Um... Yeah. We've generally had a great time in Australia, I feel. Our, like, level of low income is a lot, well, used to be less. I think it's actually kind of on the rise now. So we'll see how it is in a few years. Uh, also here in Australia, and particularly Sydney, we may have some of the worst housing prices. So, well, I guess Ronaldinho is probably not poor, but. Like, I mean, even still, it's like, I, I'm very, like, sympathetic to, like, the low-income household, and it's not something that, like, I've directly, you know, like, I'm very fortunate, you know, my parents ran a business. Like, they were, they were lucky to have a business that, like, managed to, you know, sail all the float and everything was all fine, and they treated me nice. Uh, not that I, like... I, I couldn't describe myself as spoiled and I got everything I wanted. They still had limits and there's a degree of, uh... You know, I never, I never grew up with a live off welfare. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, that's, that's a very different scenario to me, I guess. But, yeah, like, I, again, I, I'm sympathetic. Like, it needs to exist because it's just not every, well... It's, it's not even that necessarily because in theory, like, is, is a mild politics angle, I guess. At least I had things. Yeah, like, what I want is, like, everyone to be able to get stuff. You know, a house, food, a little bit of entertainment. Uh, ideally, everyone is, you know, putting in work for that. It is sort of part of the country... <sighs> it is sort of the, the country's goal to, like, make sure that everyone has a place that they can be working at, and not necessarily that, like, the government gets involved all the time, but just, you know... Eh. Um, but you know what I mean, where it's like, it's like, if there is, like, um, 
like a labor shortage as in like people want to like make industries and there's not enough people trying out for them that's a problem and then when it's the flip side where it's like there's not enough jobs for the kind of people going in to that remember on christmas my big sister asked for an expensive car oh this is a terrifying angle she instantly got denied denied yeah i uh, i never really had a car i need to actually like Real talk, actually get a car as well, like, because I, I, I feel like there's like gonna be some life changes going on, you know, me moving further away, and it's like, yep, I cannot wing public transport for tons longer. I'm actually gonna get my own car, and uh, just being like eyeing like all these like, you know, used cars that you can get for like a few thousand as opposed to like twenty five, thirty. I think I think you can get like some new cars for like. 20,000, but I'm like, man, 20,000 is a lot of money. I have one car I don't use. What kind of car is it as well? I always keep eyeing the, um... There you go. Whoa. Oh, no. Now I've realized why this is the last level of the game, because they, they're brutal. Oh, okay. Hold on to the barrels at that point. Hold on to the barrels. We gotta, I don't remember, but you still own that car. And you don't remember what it is. Ooh, mystery car. It's like the barn finds in, in Forza, if you ever play those. Except those are actually like abandoned barns, whereas Uh, oh. Oh. oh, okay. I know, I kind of instinctively don't roll because there's some enemies where it's like they're snapping and they don't like getting rolled into and I just instinctively jump on all of them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got this. I got this. Okay. Because, I mean, it's this level and then some bosses. Okay, here we go. Use the barrels wisely. That will help me so much in the long run. There you go. Right, we've got to watch it. Oh. It's a bit of a fall there, DK. Bit of a fall. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, but yeah, I keep eyeing, like, do my actual, like, dream car around, like, suburban Sydney would be, like, a Suzuki Alto Works. I mean, the, the works part is probably insane. But it's, like, there is something absolutely insane about the Australian car market because most cars are SUVs. And even if it's, like, something small like the Suzuki Ignis... Uh, it's me double mentioning Suzuki. How can Donkey Kong beat the King of Kremlins but dies to a wasp? Wasps are scary. When a bee stings you, its butt breaks off and it dies. Uh, wasps don't do that. Wasps are stronger than that. Bees are weird. <laughs> I was having a chat to my mate about how, like, if a bee, like... A bee, enough bees could, like, swarm you and then you become, like, honey forever. Like, you turn into honey. It's kind of weird. Oh. I like the bait. The bait was good. We did it! Woo! Too good. We could probably hit the save point while I'm at it. Just keep hitting the save point, because we're almost there! Save your game now while you have a chance, that is a fair statement, I guess. Well... <laughs> Whoever put that retro achievement in for beating every level in one hour and ten minutes, oh, it's a bit gutsy, but we got two bosses to go. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a reskin. He's purple now, and he's weirdly higher than he used to be. Why is he like this? I just love how he doesn't have eyebrows, and then he suddenly has eyebrows, or rather his eyelids come off. You know, like all good flamingos. 
Um, but yeah, like every car in Australia is like a four wheel drive now, or it's an electric car that is kind of expensive and I don't live near a charging station. That's, that's a bit of an investment for me. I'm, I'm sorry. So a part of me is just like, I would love to just like be able to just like get a normal, a normal darn car. And like, there's these tiny ones, like the Alto Works seems like it's a cool one because it's just it's crazy light. I mean, I know it's a bit terrifying when people drive from heavy cars. Am uh, I doing something? I guess you just jump on him while he's not in spinning animation time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's a couple of nuts. This boss fight's nuts. See what I did there? Look at him. Oh. Where's the country in Donkey Kong Country? Uh. Zimbabwe, isn't it? It's not Zimbabwe. Come on. There you go. I guess it's just gotta be done spitting his nuts. Oh, we did it! Woo! Ugh! <laughs> Happy days! Happy days! And uh, now we can tackle on the final boss, Gangplank Galleon. Such iconic music. There he is. Throws the crown. He's vulnerable. Uh, he just runs at me. I thought the crown wasn't going to reappear on him. Okay, he keeps running back and forth. Noted. Duly noted. <laughs> Nearly choked on it. That is true. You don't want to choke on your nuts. Nobody likes roasted nuts. I'm still shocked that, like... I mean, I guess a, a bunch of people are probably, like, very... You know, nostalgic for Donkey Kong Country and King K. Rool and stuff like that. But it's like, I'm shocked that, like, King K. Rool... Is like a playable smash fight. Oh, okay, so three times now. Three times. Okay, are we going to keep doing this where he's going to run four times now? Oh, he's going to bounce. He's bouncing. Okay. I was like, I was like they're going to toss this up on me. This is the final boss fight. DK does more damage. That may be true. There it goes. Oh. He may do more damage, but uh, I may be just bad at this as well. We'll keep we'll take a there. We'll keep taking attempts. And if I game over, I just like I'll just try again. The save's right there. There we go. Jump over that, and we're all good. I love all the islands all the way in the back. It's a very nice touch. And I love that little, like, you know, kind of wavy on the water. Okay, so then he starts bouncing and goes whoosh straight over. You start to avoid these cannonballs. That's a bit of a tricky pattern to dodge, but you got the time to dodge it, so. Okay, here we go. Another round. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. I say we're doing all right as if like I'm the oh, it comes back. Oh, as if I've never played this before. But we're all good. We're all good. We're taking a good shot at this. Okay, and then it's probably going to come back on me. And oh, okay. Knowing patterns of, of threes. One, one more time. We did it! Woo! Easy money. Easy money. Totally the final boss. Totally the final hit. I love that. What a fun fake out as well. <laughs> the end? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't know what his attack was gonna be afterwards. I just knew it was a fake out ending. Ah. <laughs> you put the control down, you think you're all safe. You're never safe. Not when King K rules around. I love his cape though. It's a pretty intense boss fight as well for a kid's game. I feel like there's a lot of other games and it's just like, oh, it's just a handful of hits and you're good. It's like, here he is. He's got like phases. Takes a bunch of hits, you know? I'll definitely say some of the boss fights feel a little simple, like the, you know... The, the, I guess the first one's like pretty straightforward. And it's reskin variant. The most famous fake out. It's a, it's a good one. I feel like rolling kills your momentum while you're trying to like dodge these. Like just, and there's a bit of you know acceleration going on with the left and right. I feel, I feel like it's way too late. Oh, dang it! It's way too late in the game to talk about like acceleration. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, I've got to sit through this again, don't I? Oh, no! He learned! Oh, come on, I, I, I touched his cape, I touched his cape. We'll get there, we'll get there. Donkey. I remember when I like first played these as well back on YouTube, you had to like do uh, your 10 minute cutoffs or else uh, your, your YouTube video wouldn't, you know, because you could only upload 10 minutes at a time, they'd tell you off. So I had a couple of videos in there where it's like part, it was like, yeah, it was like part 25, part 2. That was fun. There's something so liberating about not having to like worry about the 10 minute upload limits anymore. real, like, deadline is, uh, me going to sleep at some point in the middle of the night, you know? I've had some wacky late nights, I'll tell you that. Uh, <laughs> oh, every time, I always touch it on, like, the third wave. Is it any faster on the third one, or am I just insane? I don't know if the cannonballs are any faster. Okay. Alright, he's gonna jump right over me if I stand here. Yeah. And he's gonna do this. Okay. Now he's gonna do the same thing again. Okay. We're good. Yep. Okay. And he's gonna kinda do some slow bounces and then he might do like big ones again. No! Oh! <laughs> Even smaller ones. Uh, I, I'm picking up on it. I'm picking up on it. I'm picking up on it. At the very least as well, I can safely say, me as a, like, as a dumb kid, I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. Me as a dumb kid didn't pay attention. That's a, a terrible way for me to say that. Now, watch this be the run, by the way. Um, but, uh, like, me as a dumb kid, I used to not learn, really. I feel like, uh, you know, I, it is near, yes. Um... But I, I, you know, I, back in that one, I was all like save states and rewinds. And I didn't actually like learn, or really appreciate how to actually be. <sighs> well, okay, when I said watch this be the one, that's just more me going, I really hope that I actually win it on that one, you know, run, I guess. Let's switch to Diddy, just for fun. I don't know what I'm going to that. We'll get there. Victory is near. Because, I mean, it's the three hits after the jumps, right? And I've got a good idea about the jumps. It's the cannonballs. I died. <laughs> Terrible with consistently beating the cannonballs. So good. The music's so great. But, 
that. But yeah, whereas like me as an adult, it's like, I, I don't know, I've got a lot more patience in like actually watching how things work. And also I guess just experience playing other kinds of games. I feel like that always helps. Like, I, I, I always wonder that, like, in terms of like getting used to playing games or that kind of stuff. Like, there's general skill and then there's your, your you know, your uh, domain specific of like, you know, how this one game in particular works. And you're just able to execute on that one like so much. Uh, me, I just generally say I'm a fast learner. Like, I started to realize, like, just like spot spot things, try to be patient, spot how you're going about it. Oh. Boing. Right, here we go. One last one. He's gonna do some mild jumps now. And then he's gonna do these kind of like awkward short ones. Go. There you go. Now he's actually gone. We did it. Woo. Hey, at least the actual run didn't involve a hit. So, and there we go. That's Donkey Kong Country. Well done, Donkey, my boy. Who'd have thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no good Kremlings? You've made an old man proud. Go and look in your hoard. I think you'll be in for a surprise. I mean, if I had been playing, I'd have found everything. I'm sure there must have been some bonus rooms you haven't found. Yeah, I. We'll leave it at that. I, I'm not gonna like go too fancy into getting the hundred and one percent. Um, just because, yeah, it's. Uh, a lot of these levels, I just gotta go back through and then just somehow find all the secrets again, but... Um, I don't think that's too much of a big reward for me to show on stream to really make that, like, a worthwhile experience to, to view. But, it's definitely something where I would recommend this game. And I guess it's like, yeah, it's Donkey Kong Country, everyone knows it's a great game. But, to me as well, I think it's definitely cemented itself as just like, it's a nice, fun little, just, it's a bit of an experience. And, there's, and it's got that thing I love about a lot of, like, platformers that are absolutely great tier, which is it does something different every level. There's something unique about every single level and every single kind of feeling going on it. There's, you know, there's all these enemies. There's, like, you probably only saw them, like, a couple of times. They're just that love that enemy's level. They're just using that level. Clambo. The second one. A lot of people do like the second one. I don't know why people don't like the third one. I'm just saying that as someone who hasn't played the third one. Also, villain casts are always great. So innovative for its time. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of games that just have that vibe. It's like, oh my gosh, like all these like amazing elements all rolled into one. It's like they, they were sitting on a gold mine. And I feel like Donkey Kong Country 1 definitely gets a lot of love, probably just because it's, you know, it's a first game. Um, I do know a lot of people who are more Nintendo fans will definitely say Donkey Kong Country 2 is the better one. People don't like the third one because of Kitty Kong. Is, yeah, is, is it just because, because from my understanding, it's like people prefer, is AI is horrible, ooh, okay. From my understanding, I thought it was like, people don't like the sluggishness of Donkey Kong himself, and so they're like, oh, Diddy Kong, great. And then you play Donkey Kong Country 2, and you're playing as two Diddy Kongs, basically. You, you got, like, you got high mobility, and then it's like, you got Kitty Kong, who's just large in DKC3. But, I don't know. I'll have to play it. I'll have to, you know, see my, uh, see my understanding of that. Also, Funky Kong. This game is immediately amazing, because Funky Kong. There he is. He did it. I have played Donkey Kong 64 as well, and Donkey Kong 64 is an absolute, like, spectacle of a game. It's kind of like, yep, at this point, don't add more collectibles, please. Oh, get memed on. Get memed on. 
Domestic violence. Kitty Kong can break platforms, even the moving ones. Oh. I did this using one life. That's a bit cruel. That's that's really cruel. What happens actually? Do you guys see being with one life in less than an hour? Like, is that something that actually exists? That they do something? The cranky run mystery solved. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm looking it up. Someone's like, yeah, a rare employee said there was there would have been a fancy mode where you could play as cranky, but that never ended up being in the game. Okay. Diddy and Donkey. But yeah, no, it's been a good treat. It's been good fun playing this one. Um, definitely, I, th I think, are all three on the Switch Online? They have to be. No way have they gone that long with the SNES Online and not added, not added Donkey Kong Country. Oh, let's check it out. SNES Online Switch. Uh, here we go. Wikipedia. The best resource, apparently. Uh, Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. Here we go, Super Nintendo. And the answer is, yes, it has all three. They were all released over the course of 2020, which is when... Uh, or it came live in 2019, and then, you know, eventually got there. But, you yeah, know, all three sitting there. And there we go, back to the main menu again. Here we go. Where you can then view the the joys of did you get your game at a hundred and one percent because for some reason it stops at hundred and one, I didn't. But two hours fourteen is a pretty like comfy point for me. Definitely, there's a few levels where it's like, oh, I did find all the secrets, and then a few levels where, no, I certainly didn't. Or a few levels where there's just no secrets, like uh, this level. <laughs> there's no secrets, and of course you're gonna have all the secrets. So. Um, definitely go play the game for yourself, try and find those secrets, um, and have a good romp. It was a good one. It was good to come back to it. And certainly now I can put the, uh, the, no one tells me that it's like, oh, you never played it legit. This is a me thing. This is me looking at my old stuff going, man, I could have done it better. And now I hope that this was it. I hope this was a very chill playthrough in one stream as well. And, uh, and just, yeah, like... That's it. This is this is something I want to share my experience. I want to share my thoughts. Um, I want to have a good time doing it, and I think hopefully all of that's accomplished. So, with that, I would like to thank you so very very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, or you didn't enjoy this, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can uh, follow on Twitch. Except for you, Maverick, you already did it. Uh, uh, but uh, if you miss parts of this, uh, the stream vod will appear on my YouTube channel in some number of hours within a day it'll, it'll be there you'll see it there uh, as well as also all the other stream vods because twitch only saw so much so you can see all the other stuff and if you really want to be fancy you can go back to videos from 16 years ago and see how terrible i played it the original time uh that is what youtube videos in 2008 were like they were they were a real shocking you know thing i think i think it was a rush to just play games first just be that kind of person. You're the first one to play a game on YouTube. I, I swear I'm not the first person to play Donkey Kong Country on YouTube. Uh, the only one I claim is Toy Story 2. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. Uh, also, you can follow me on Poor Roma, I say silly things. Uh, M.BNDAO.com. You can follow me there. So, anyway, stay safe. Uh, don't stay up too late and uh, eat your greens, I guess. And play Donkey Kong Country 2. I will play that at some point. Maybe not next stream, but certainly at some point. At some point. Um, but yeah, peace, have a good one.